Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create some simple image reveal effect. So this is what we are going to create here. So if we reload the page, it will going to be revealed like that. So the image is going to be sliding from left to right and it also got some zoom out effect. So now if we just scroll down, all the images will have the same type of animations. And after that, if we go to the top and again scroll down to the bottom, it will have the same animation again. So we are going to use HTML, CSS and a JavaScript library called Kirinshock or GSAP. It is a very popular JavaScript library for web animations. It is mostly used to create the landing pages. So it will have some nice animation effect. So we are going to use the Kirinshock and one of its plugin named the scroll trigger so without any further ado let's get started in here i have opened my project folder by the visual studio code i got four images and index.html file javascript file and css file so the javascript and the css file are linked with the index.html here but we actually need to include the GSAP or Gainshock. We can either download it or we can use it as a CDN. So that's what I'm going to do here. If we search for Gainshock CDN, let's go to the first website cdnjs.com libraries and GSAP. So we need two things here the main GSAP and the scroll trigger. So we can either copy URL or let's copy the entire script tag here and paste it above the our own script JavaScript file. So let's delete this one and after that we need the scroll trigger. Let's find it. Okay, this is it. So the scroll trigger has a dependency on this, so it will be below the main GSAP. Okay, we have included all of this. Now let's create a markup. So it is going to be pretty simple. Let's create a div with the class of container and inside this, let's create another div with the class of maybe image container. It will contain the each of the images. Let's also create another div and I'm going to give it a class name of mask. So it is actually going to work like as a mask. So by using the GSFE, we are going to uh, change its height and size. And inside this, let's put our images. I'm just going to copy this uh, div. Okay. Let's paste uh, three times let's just change the images here now let's save and I have opened this by the live server extension and it looks like this sorry this now let's move on to the style.css and style it so in style.css let's at first remove the default margin padding of the browser sorry margin 0 padding will also be 0 let's make the box sizing border box after that let's target the body and I'm just going to give this a background color of kind of uh, dark color so let's target the container here and let's give this a max height of maybe 13 20 pixels this is the latest bootstrap uh, container max height let's also make this center so we need to give this margin 0 auto now it should be center after that let's target the image container and image container okay Let's target the image here and give this a height of maybe 100% or you can use auto but let's give 100% the height will also be 100% let's save and see 
now it is taking this uh, entire space because the image size is actually very big uh, okay now let's leave it and target the image container i'm just going to give this a margin of 20 percent from top to bottom but from left to right let's make this zero because we don't need any gap at left or right now let's give this a height of maybe 70 percent okay now it is taking this much height i'm just going to make this like that because we are going to put uh, some of the images at the right side let's give this a position of relative so after that let's target the image container and use the number of child so we want the even numbers of childs to make margin right zero and margin left auto that should push it to the right side like that so the first one the odd number will be at the left side but the other images will be at the right corner it looks fine okay now let's target the mask here let's make the position to relative and after that let's make the eye to uh, 80 percent let's also give the height of 80 percent and let's make the overflow hidden now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make it invisible so let's add a visibility hidden so now we cannot see it okay fine now let's move on to the skip.js and work with our green shock so in order to work with the gsap we at first need to register the plugin here register plugin and we need to register the school trigger plugin i hope i got the spelling right okay sorry it will be gsap okay after that let's create a variable and i'm just going to use this variable to get all the masks from here so all of this so let's name it mask and document dot query selector all because we need all of this so it got the class so dot and mask now we are going to use an forest loop to loop through all of this divs with the class of mask to do that let's target uh, get this variable which is the mask and dot for each i'm just going to use the arrow function here so let's create another variable named uh, named image inside it so we are going to loop through all of this mask from here by this for each method and then we are going to put each of the images or each of the mask in here and we are going to get the images inside this div okay so mask dot query selector and we need the image tag so we don't need any selector like dot or hash now let's create a timeline i'm just going to name it tl timeline gsap dot timeline and inside this timeline let's add the scroll trigger so at first we need to put a trigger for the scroll trigger the trigger is the element which uh, whenever this element will come into the viewport the animation will triggered okay so in this case i just want to give this div as a trigger whenever this div will enter into the viewport the animation will be triggered and will happen so let's uh, add trigger and the value will be mask 
so this mask is this on so it will get the elements of each of the div here after that we also need to add a toggle action so if you go to the documentation of school trigger the url is ginshock.com slash docs version 3 plugins and school trigger so here it is toggle actions so we can put four different values the first one will be on enter so whenever the first time uh, this trigger or in this case the mask will enter into the viewport and then on leave then on enter back on leave back okay there is four values so whenever it will enter into the viewport we want to restart the enter animation and on leave we want nothing to happen on enter back nothing happen sorry and we are going to reset it whenever we leave back i think that is it okay after that let's uh, get the timeline and set something so let's uh, the element we are going to target is the mask and let's make the auto alpha sorry a will be capital so it will make the opacity to on and let's target the timeline again and use a from here again the target will be mask then we need to put a time so the duration so i want to make it happen for 1.5 seconds then uh, we can actually we are going to push it at the uh, left side left means the x direction left and right the x direction and uh, the vertical direction is the y direction so we are going to push it along the horizontal axis or x axis so let's target the x percent so we are going to push it to minus 100 to the x direction that means to the left and we can also add an using function here let's add power power to dot out in uh, this app documentation you can easily uh, demonstrate all of this using function they have a nice graph there let's just copy this okay and it looks like this which is very ugly so uh, in this one let's target the image so in here we are going to target the mask and add the animation with it so in this case we are going to push this entire div to around the x axis to minus 100 pixels but in this case we are going to target the emails for the zoom out effect so uh, in this case let's uh, push it from the right that means x percent will have a hello plus let's also scale it on point three times that means it will be uh, zoom in on point three times let's also add a delay here maybe minus on point five second is will be fine now let's see and we got the effect let's refresh and it looks fine but uh, in standard css let's add transform origin so in this case we want the transform to be origin from the left because it is going to be slided from the left and also add a object fit cover let's save and refresh there is a simple issue here the last image is uh, going to be animated very fast 
but it should only animate whenever it comes into the viewport i think there is some uh, this is some issue with the live server extension let's open it directly from the folder and now it is working just fine so if you want to see uh, the codes or get the source code i will add the source code in the github repository and share the link in the description below i hope you like this video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one take care and goodbye